understand neutrino oscillations, uh, you really have to uh, buy into the idea in quantum mechanics that particles behave like waves. And so uh, let me give you an example of something that waves do that is absolutely unique. Particles can't do this, OK? So what I have here is I have two tuning forks. And I have slightly mistuned one tuning fork compared to the other. I've added a little bit of, of mass right here to mistune my tuning forks. And let me show you a trick that only waves can do, OK? Did you hear a wah, wah, wah? Yeah. Was that clear to everybody? Do it again. OK. <laughs> Thank you. <Please. laughs> Coming and going, coming and going. In fact, if it really went fast, you would call it a shimmer. And uh, waves can do that uh, because the two tuning forks, the waves of the two tuning forks are interfering. This idea that they're coming and going is the same as what happens with our particles, the neutrinos. We start out with neutrinos, which are, for example, the electron kind of neutrino, or vanilla, if you prefer. And that seems to disappear and then come back again, and disappear and come back again in our detectors. And so uh, what's really happening is it's turning into another flavor, but our detector can't taste that flavor. So to our detector, it seems to just disappear. And so Lawrence said that what this means is that neutrinos have to have mass. So you should immediately ask me why. OK? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and, uh, so let's think of this as like a clock. As, as the wave goes by up and down, wah, 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 it's counting like a clock, right? And now let's think about what it means for, the, for there to be a passage of time. It turns out that if, if you could go the speed of light, time would be frozen for you. The clock would never tick. OK? The reason for that is because, you know, as you're going the speed of light, the light is trying to catch up with you that's coming from the face of the clock, and it just always looks frozen to you. This was one of the ideas that Einstein put forward. Well, what the neutrino has inside of it is a clock. It's changing its flavor. It's coming and going, tick, 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 tick. For it to be able to do that, then, what it means is that it can't be going the speed of light. And it turns out that what makes the difference between a particle that can go the speed of light, like a photon, and a particle that can't is mass. Mass is what's preventing you from being able to go the speed of light. And if my neutrino has a clock, if it can oscillate, then that means it has to have had mass. 